Boardroom and Battlefield is designed to take people from one environment, that being an executive type environment, into a place where they're totally uncomfortable. It's designed to make them deal with fears, confront them as a team, and to leave here stronger than they came. They won't see the world the same way they did before they got here three days ago. My name is Chris Doggett. I'm the CEO of Adminnovate. Uh, I was uh, formerly the CEO of a company uh, named Admin Server that was an Inc. 500 company for four years in a row, uh, best company to work for in Philadelphia. Uh, and we uh, were a company that was uh, running about $70 million a year with 400 employees at the point I sold to uh, Oracle. Adminnovate is a company that provides core systems for the insurance industry and it's an outstanding opportunity. We have a great group of folks and we have a tremendous opportunity in front of us in the marketplace. A month or so ago I, I took our management team down to Kentucky to uh, boardroom to battlefield which was just an incredible experience. Invictus is the single best thing you can do for your management team bar none. Boardroom to Battlefield uh, is a concept that my brother and I came up with. Uh, we always knew that the, le the leadership and team building uh, that goes on in a uh, special operations unit uh, has a place out here in the private sector. Uh, and after leaving the military, we had a, a desire to put together a program uh, that would take executives and their staff and uh, take them out of their comfort zone, out of the boardroom, and put them in, quote unquote, a battlefield environment. We take the guys that normally don't do the stuff that we do and, um, and we close the gap between us to see that um, how s the similarities are much more than the differences. What we aim to do is to show these executives and their staffs or the members that they have chosen to become their future leaders is what has worked and what hasn't. Everything that we talk about is experience based only. There's no theories, there's no concepts, there's no I think this may work. I'm telling you, hands down, their program, even, even in the, its initial stages in building how they're going to go about this, is better than any of the other I've done. And part of it was a team building exercise, though really that wasn't the intent. That wasn't necessarily why we were there. I, I think we told ourselves we were, but really that's not what we approached it as. But when we came home, there was a, there was a camaraderie element that was, that was part of it. I think it's pretty cool, the whole experience, uh, bringing us all together. Uh, learning a lot about myself and also the, the team. Um, we got to play with a lot of cool things, but, but one of the great things was, was having the elite training of these guys as well. Get people out of the boardroom where they sit and they listen to some PhD trainer that comes in and PowerPoints them to death, get them out here where they can have some fun and also learn at the same time. A lot of this event you go to, it's, it's got to be all action, action, action. It's going to be shooting, as in these guys' case, it might be driving the Humvees in some desert and other. But they really sit you down and talk to you, tactic, knowledge they have on management. All angles are covered from tactical, wisdom, experience, stories, true accounts, uh, multifaceted personalities from multifaceted backgrounds within the most elite in organizations in a time of war. And to have that kind of talent in one location presenting you any kind of product is priceless in itself. I think my expectations going in were that we would go have an experience that was really more cool than enlightening. And I think what we came back with was more enlightening than cool. We're partnered up with uh, Rock Castle Shooting Center. They have a wonderful facility here. Everything from an 18 hole golf course to a wine vineyard, a bar, restaurant, hotel rooms, and the works. And on top of that, a shooting facility. The fact that there's the facilities here to facilitate that, so you can eat and stay, and then go out and shoot in a cave, and then go out and do a drive-by shooting all in a very safe environment is something that you literally can't do anywhere else in the country. They'll experience everything from basic shooting to paintball to hand-to-hand -hand combat, multiple types and styles of events that are designed to build confidence not only at a team level but at an individual level. And the biggest thing is, is how do we develop, foster, and build trust? 
because at the end of the day, the team's only as strong as the trust across the board. I have participated in other leadership training programs, and this was, was far and away um, uh, much more powerful, beneficial, and, and a very unique experience. Uh, and, and so much better than anything else that you could have in a seminar or in a, in a hotel lobby. This was something that was uh, completely unique and, and extraordinarily powerful. It actually turned out that firing weapons and those other things were uh, a sidelight to the most important message, which is how do elite professional organizations run and how do you get to the bottom line of becoming better on a day-to-day -day basis. Leadership, mission focus, all that has a common thread regardless of where and what role you might apply it in. And I think the, the, the common refrain has been, man, it's amazing the parallels between accomplishing their mission to go out in whatever rate it might be versus us delivering a product or us doing any sort of thing that we put a high priority on and we, we delineate it as a big target, we really approach them similarly. I think there's, there's many commonalities uh, that transcend all boundaries when it comes to leadership and team building, especially when you're talking about elite type organizations. Respecting your team, planning, reviewing successes and failures, uh, getting uncomfortable and finding ways to, to win even though you're feeling outside your skin. All those things you feel on a day-to-day -day basis working in the corporate world, uh, and these are experiences that they felt uh, out on the battlefield, which are enhanced by bullets whizzing by your head. With this particular set of customers, um, we were able to watch them quite literally morph over a three-day period, three-and-a-half-day period. And, and what they begin to do is they begin to ask themselves hard questions based off of, of leadership talks and team building exercises that we do. Everybody in our group now uh, is emulating how, how they operated and we are operating in the same way and we are a, a team that is so much more effective after going through this training, it's, it's, it's just extraordinary. I see an immediate um, change uh, in the way that our CEO, uh, Chris Doggett, how he approaches uh, our meetings and how he approaches uh, the follow-up portion of that. Um, and it's really kind of honed that down into a little bit more of a succinct mission statement and, and, and getting to the, to the bottom line on that. I think the difference in us is that we appreciate that leadership plays a role and how we approach asking people to do things, how we approach telling people to do things has changed. And I think we've changed in how we, how we look at taking lessons from yesterday and applying them to tomorrow. This experience will, I think, put us over the top to reach our goals faster, to become more focused on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, and for us to, uh, uh, to not become complacent. I think the marketplace was, uh, was worried about our entry, and now with the uh, training we've had from uh, Invictus, um, I, would, I would have to confirm that they need to be really afraid.